hello everyone it's Susan and today I'm gonna show you how to make a clock and not a clock so you can read the time but uh, when uh, one that you can use to um, uh, fire a contraption and uh, irregular intervals so the first thing you're gonna do is place a bearing right here um, you do that so you can uh, uh, rotate something and we're gonna need that um, so then we go up two and we go oops we go out a few blocks like um one two three four five um that's enough and then another bearing then another five blocks then we plop down a controller and um we connect those um um next thing we do is um, set for the bottom uh, for the I mean the top um, the top bearing we put this on like minus 45 and this is gonna determine for how long the pulse is gonna last before it's um, it stops so if you want a longer pulse you put it on like this but don't go over uh, 180 because then um, it's gonna um, it's gonna well you can when, when you put it over 180 it's gonna take uh, the pulse is gonna take longer than the time before the next pulse so well if you want that you can but um, I just wouldn't recommend it but maybe one day you'll need it I don't know um, and then you're going to uh, place down a uh, a sensor and put it on switch mode which is possible since the um, updates from April 1st and the last thing to do is really um, putting down a switch and connecting this up and um, setting a speed for the for the rotating part on the bottom uh, so the higher you um, have this uh, rotation value the faster it's gonna rotate so I'm gonna put it on uh, 90 for example in, in the rotate mode you can also use this for some more precise measuring if you ever need it so for example if you want to go really slow you could uh, you could do it like this, but I doubt you'll ever need that, so I'm gonna just do it on the. Uh, oops. Let's put it on 60. Um, so, you see, whenever the first one passes by, it turns on, and the second time uh, one passes by, it turns off because it's on the switch mode. And we can use that, f um, for example, to, well, uh, let's make a little thing. Um, let's do this, and then every time it passes by, it's going to do this, for example. So you could make clock circuits. Um, circuits um, make automatically moving vehicles or whatever and maybe you could use this for shooting ranges um, whatever you want so um, if you learned something from this please leave a like um, subscribe um, share the video and uh, do whatever you want um, but I hope to see you next time goodbye